Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have released pictures of the new third kit, which is out on the 14th of September. The Premier League season is just six days away for Spurs. Harry Redknapp has said, go out and buy Gareth Bale to make Tottenham real title contenders for next season. Fixture details for the under-23s, under-18s and the Tottenham Hotspur women. Spurs missed out on Timothy Castagne because he was told that we had to sell Serge Aurier first to get the money in. Um, Spurs have also missed out on Bournemouth striker Callum Wilson. But are the club about to buy Brentford's Ollie Watkins? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Monday the 7th of September. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. Let's start with Tottenham's third kit for the 2020-2021 season. Of course, last night on yesterday's video, I mentioned that it was on sale at the High Street store next on their website. It was soon removed. And first thing this morning, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have announced that the third kit for next season will be available to purchase from the 14th of September. Now, please do let me know your thoughts of this new shirt in the comments section below. Tottenham's Premier League season is now just six days away. We host Everton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this Sunday, half past four kickoff. Now, please do put your score predictions in the comments section below and let me know where you think Tottenham will finish at the end of the 2020 2021 season. And also put in the comments section below whether you think that Tottenham will be signing any more players before the transfer window ends on the 5th of October. Former Tottenham Hotspur manager Harry Redknapp has urged Gareth Bale to return to Tottenham to make Spurs title contenders for next season. He wrote the following in his column in the Sun newspaper of the possible destinations. If Gareth Bale went back to Tottenham to team up with an already lively front line, you could see Spurs doing some serious damage. Harry Kane, Hunmin Son, Deli Alli and Gareth Bale. Redknapp then went on to say, if it was my call, I'd throw all four of them on together and step back to watch liftoff. Gareth Bale could change Tottenham from European contenders to Premier League title contenders. He would give everyone a lift, and when I think of Delhi playing a supporting role behind those three, it makes my skin tingle. Delhi's form dipped over the last few seasons, but he has shown some signs of starting to get back to his best. It was always likely to happen to him because he was so young when he burst onto the scene. Former Tottenham boss Harry Redknapp then said, but Spurs need reinvigorating and Gareth Bale would do just that. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I know that there has been so many media reports about Gareth Bale possibly coming back to Spurs. But as Tottenham fans, how would you feel if Gareth Bale was back next season wearing a Tottenham shirt? The Tottenham Under-18 fixtures were released earlier today. This is an article on the club's website and it reads, The Under-18 Premier League restarts this weekend following the curtailment of the last campaign and our youngsters have been handed a London derby away to West Ham on the opening day. Fixtures for the 2020-2021 season were revealed today on Monday the 7th of September with Matt Taylor's side set to battle the Hammers at Little Heath on Saturday before an early season North London derby against Arsenal at Hotspur Way the following weekend. So the first game of the new season for the under-18s is this Saturday on the 12th of September against West Ham away, 11 o'clock kickoff at Little Heath. The next week is Saturday the 19th of September when we play Arsenal at home, 11 a.m. kickoff at Hotspur Way. On the final day of the season, um, on the 8th of May, we will be playing Chelsea at home, 11 a.m. kickoff again at Hotspur Way. 
Another announcement on the club's website was published earlier today and it said our women's FA Cup quarter-final fixture against Arsenal will be played on Saturday the 26th of September. Kickoff is 5.15pm at Meadow Park and the match will be broadcast live on BBC Two. Premier League 2 fixtures, which is the under-23s for Tottenham, they were released earlier today. It says on the club's website our under-23s will begin their Premier League 2 campaign with an opening day clash with Brighton and Hove Albion at Hotspur Way. Fixtures for the new 2020-2021 campaign, which begins this weekend, were revealed earlier today. Wayne Burnett's side will host the Seagulls on Saturday lunchtime before West Ham United visit us the following Friday. This season, due to the ongoing social distancing measures in place to guard against COVID-19, all of our home fixtures in the Premier League 2 will be played at Hotspur Way. Uh, matches will be staged behind closed doors until it is safe for fans to return. The first three fixtures for the under-23s will be on the 12th of September this Saturday against Brighton and Hove Albion, 1pm kickoff at Hotspur Way. And then the following Friday, 18th of September, West Ham United at home at Hotspur Way, 12pm uh, kickoff. And then on the 27th of September, Arsenal away, 2pm kickoff at Meadow Park. A report out today from the Daily Express and it states that Tottenham missed out on transfer target because of Serge Aurier despite Jose Mourinho call. Tottenham boss Jose Mourinho wants to add to his three summer signings. The report states that Tottenham had serious interest in signing Timothy Castagne before his move to Leicester, but the wing-back's father has revealed Spurs were unable to stump up the cash to make a deal happen. Castagne has proved to be a versatile player in Serie A in being able to play on both sides of defence. Predominantly a right back, Castagne is often filled in on the left side of defence as well as playing further forward. He was attracting plenty of interest around Europe with Tottenham among those inquiring about a move. But Leicester won the race for his signature, completing a deal worth £18 million from Atalanta. Their interest in Timothy Castagne, though, suggests that Jose Mourinho is keen on bringing in more defensive reinforcements. And Castagne's father has revealed that Jose Mourinho even held a private call with the 24-year-old to try and get him to sign for the club. But Spurs were just short of meeting Atalanta's asking price. Castagne's father said um, Timothy conducted a video conference with Jose Mourinho, but Tottenham had to sell Serge Aurier first. With a little bit more money, they could have made an offer like Leicester did. In the last couple of months, certainly, there has been so many media reports out linking Spurs to uh, Bournemouth winger Ryan Fraser and England and Bournemouth striker Callum Wilson. Uh, well, today, BBC Sport have put this article out and it states that Newcastle United have signed England striker Callum Wilson and Scotland winger Ryan Fraser. Wilson joins on a four-year deal from Bournemouth for around £20 million, while free agent Fraser has signed a five-year contract after leaving the Cherries at the end of June. The new season is just days away now and we will see Premier League football back. A report out today from BBC Sport and it states the Premier League has confirmed three individuals have tested positive for coronavirus in the latest round of testing ahead of the new season starting on Saturday. The league said that between the 31st of August and the 6th of September, 1,605 players and staff were tested. The unnamed individuals will now self-isolate for 10 days. A report out in the last 24 hours from the Sun newspaper and they are stating that Tottenham are ready to make their move for Brentford's uh, top goal scorer from the 2019-2020 season, Ollie Watkins. But Aston Villa are also said to be very interested. Oli Watkins currently plays at championship side Brentford. He has made 132 appearances for them, scoring 45 goals. He started his career at Exeter City, uh, playing for them between 2014 and 2017, uh, making 68 appearances for them, scoring 21 times. He is 24 years old. He is a... Uh, He's a centre forward. He can play as an attacking midfielder and he can also play as a winger. 
Whilst player for Brentford last season in the Championship, he made a total of 46 appearances, scoring on 25 occasions. Um, he was the Championship Player of the Year award winner for last season and described himself as a number 10. In the early hours of this morning, the Amazon documentary All or Nothing Tottenham Hotspur episodes 4, 5 and 6 were released. If you've watched them, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What have you made of this series so far in these six episodes? Episodes 4, 5 and 6 for me were just as good as 1, 2 and 3. An absolutely fascinating insight to... Uh, to you know, behind the scenes at Tottenham Hotspur. We have now got to wait another week before we see the final three episodes of this series in episodes 7, 8 and 9. Um, those three will be out early hours of uh, Monday the 14th of September. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Also, please do check out the video that I put out yesterday reviewing the All or Nothing documentary episodes 4, 5 and 6. And please do put your thoughts about the documentary in the comments section below. If you don't subscribe to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.